Just realize the Pirates have never lost a seven-game World Series, 5-0. Their only defeats came in 1903, eight games, and 1927, four games. What are some other, holy shit, baseball facts? Carlos Correa last stole a base in 2019. Carlos Correa is averaging roughly one stolen base per 100 games in the past six years. What the heck lol edit. Oh my god Stanton has more stolen bases than Carlos Correa since 2017. Dude, he only has one leg, give him a break. From 2017 to 2022, Albert Pujols has more stolen bases four in six seasons, with Correa having two more in 2018, and both having zero in 2020. The Mariners have never lost any World Series. Barry Bonds has more intentional walks than the Tampa Bay Rays. I saw this one a couple of days ago but that one is actually impressive. 12,606 plate appearances for Bonds and 150,395 for the Rays. The Rays, Devil Rays at the time are the only team that never gave up a home run nor an intentional walk to Barry Bonds. I mean it's well known but still wild that the Marlins have two World Series, and no division titles. The 1981 Reds had the best record in all of baseball but didn't make the playoffs. Likewise, Derek Jeter's one career grand slam came against the Chicago Cubs of all teams. Madison Bumgarner hit more grand slams in one season than Jeter did his entire career. Fernando Tatis Sr. hit more grand slams in one inning than Jeter did his entire career. Nolan Ryan threw seven career no-hitters including two in one year and four in a three-year span and never won a Cy Young award. Nolan Ryan has seven no-hitters and zero Cy Youngs, Clemens has zero no-hitters and seven Cy Youngs. Let's do some trades and give Clemens a no-hitter and Ryan a Cy Young, I am sure no one will notice. As long as Ryan keeps the record for wild pitches. And errors by a pitcher, I am not positive, but I think he holds the record in both leagues. Hall of Famer Gaylord Perry was a notoriously terrible hitter, even for a pitcher. So much so that in 1964 Giants manager Alvin Dark told a reporter, Mark my words, a man will land on the moon before Gaylord Perry hits a home run. Fast forward to July 20, 1969. At 1.17 p.m., Apollo 11 landed on the moon. Less than an hour later in San Francisco, Perry hit his first career home runoff of Dodger lefty Claude Austin. Ken Griffey Jr. was born on November 21, 1969, in Denora, Pennsylvania. In his career, he hit .284, .370, .538, won MVP, 10 gold gloves, 7 silver sluggers, was a 13-time All-Star, and hit 630 home runs, while amassing 83.8 BWAR and 77.7 F war. He's the second best left-handed outfielder born in Denora, Pennsylvania on November 21. Stan Musial was born in 1920. 24-time All-Star, 3X MVP, 3X WS Champion, 128.2 BWAR, 126.8 F war. Leave a comment down below, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Share this video with your friends to spread the love for baseball and other sports.